It was a very, a very working class. Yes, that was what I was saying. Friendly, casual sort of place. It had a clock <laughs> upon, as you came in the shopping centre, there was a, 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 a structure holding it up and they had stuck up on the, the top of an actuary sort of thing, this big clock. And it was one a bit like a Nuremberg one, a bit of a, a cheapskate version of that. Mm. And at the quarter it went ding dong and a couple of little things shook like that. But at the hour it went ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. And a group of little animals all did things. Right. Stood up. I remember. And sat down. They weren't madly exciting. They weren't as good as Nuremberg. They didn't go around in circles, but they moved. And... And then it would start ding dong, ding dong, the lead up. And the children would go, it's coming, it's coming. And the grandparents would always, right, right, shush, are you here? Come on, Jimmy, come on. Oh, where's Sadie? She's, hurry up, hurry up. And everybody would rush, and the doll said, woo! And then the clock would do its thing. <laughs> and the two and three year olds, once they were three, the, three and a half, so they were too sophisticated. Mm -hmm. But up yeah. to two and three year olds would just sit there transfixed. Wow. Any hour watching that clock. There is a picture of it at the moment in Silverburn. Mm -hmm. As you go to the main toilets at the Pollock okay. entrance, get glue? there's a display of photographs leading to the toilets which show you the old Pollock Centre. And they quite capture that. the atmosphere of it.